You ever go out and get drunk? You ever have yourself a beer and be like, what did this beer do to me? I just remember I have daddy issues. Well, today I'm gonna explain to you what happens in the first 24 hours after having a beer. Also, this episode was brought to you by Domain.com. After the first few minutes of taking a sip of beer, the alcohol travels to your stomach where it is absorbed into your bloodstream. It then travels all over your body, including your brain and around your muscles. That sounds like a nightmare. After 10 minutes, your body recognizes the alcohol as poison and logically doesn't want to store it and tries to break it down and get rid of it as quickly as possible. Kind of like what your mom will do if your dad has too many beers. After 15 minutes, your stomach has started trying to break down and remove the alcohol. Then your body produces an enzyme referred to by smart dudes as alcohol dehydrogenase. See what you did to your body? Making it do extra work because you didn't have enough confidence to tell that girl you liked her back. Think about that next time. The alcohol dehydrogenase converts the chemicals into acetaldehyde, a very toxic substance which is a large contributor to why people get hangovers. Next, it's converted into acetic acids and finally into fatty acids and water so your body can actually deal with it. Damn! Your body like Jesus! Turning stuff into water. Walking on water and whatnot. If you're Chris Angel, I'm embarrassed that I really thought he did that stuff. Finally, after 20 minutes, your body will start to feel the alcohol affecting you. Symptoms include a light head, feelings of happiness, or other emotions if you haven't solved those father issues I mentioned at the top of this episode. Between 45 and 90 minutes is when your blood alcohol level will peak. During this phase, your body is more likely to work the muscles in such a way that you call your ex and cry or hope your ex calls you crying because you're not in their life anymore, but they don't ever because they're dating a rapper much more famous than you. I miss you. I saw his comment on Instagram. It's all right. In less than 60 minutes, you'll probably have to go to the bathroom often as alcohol is a diuretic. I just said diuretic. Didn't know that was a word until today. Say it with me, class. Oh yeah, I'm not a teacher. I was able to buy gas to get to work this morning. Anyway, during this time, if you stop drinking, you're likely to feel sleepy or crash out. Drunk sleep isn't good sleep because your body is dehydrated and your demons will haunt you. And finally, between 12 and 24 hours, when you wake up, you'll likely feel many symptoms of a hangover like headaches, dizziness, thirst, paleness, tremors, and voicemails from your friends wondering why you call them at 3 a.m. and texted them the F word. Most of these symptoms are caused by dehydration and your life decisions. So what do you guys think about all of this? What was it like when you tried alcohol for the first time? Also, do you find the symptoms worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again to the sponsor of this episode, Domain.com. They want to hook you up and save you 20% off on domain names and web hosting. They're reliable, affordable, and easy to use. They have over 250 domain extensions, so you don't have to be all boring with a regular old .com, but you can have that if that's what you want. Save your 20% off when you Use the coupon code SourceFed at checkout. I'm William Haynes. I'm gonna rain it down. Okay. What does it smell like? What do these smell like? Kids, welcome back to the children's program. I'm Uncle Puppet. Today I have a special guest for you, Puppet Steve. Hey, Uncle Puppet! Tell us.